Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be starting off a series here on my channel. I, I have to stick to these series. I'm starting a few already, <laughs> but today I want to show you guys a little bit more of what goes behind making my videos. I'm going to do like a Savvy Sunday series. I just thought of that. <laughs> but I want to take you guys behind the scenes on what it takes to create content. I have done other videos where I help creators. If you are looking to start making videos, I have quite a bit of videos already. So I'm going to start creating a playlist and make this a series where I help creators out. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave the questions down below in the comments and then I'll get back to you with a video answering your guys' questions. In today's video, I want to show you guys how I create my close-up eye makeup looks for my Instagram and also here on YouTube, but I just mainly want to focus on Instagram videos just with eye close-ups because every time I do them, I get tons of questions asking me how I get that eye close-up without like getting out of frame because that can be tricky. And I remember when I first started making those type of videos, I had no idea how other people stayed in frame. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So if you guys want to learn, then go ahead and keep on watching. No, I'd rather be waking up with you. Set up alone in your room, slept with the light on, waiting up for you. Don't, I don't wanna be. Let me just apply some lip gloss because my lips are mega dry right now. Okay, let's get started. My first advice is to get a good lens. I have about three different lens that I use for my videos. And the one I'm filming with right now, which is my absolute favorite, is the Sigma 30 millimeter lens. I also, for my close-ups, love to use the Nifty 50. That's what they call it. This is a Canon 50 millimeter. Oh, just kidding. This is a 24. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so this one is a Nifty 50. I purchased this on Amazon for about $120. Maybe it's been reduced since I purchased it because it's been quite a minute since I've had this. I'll have this one linked down below for you guys. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Again, right now I'm currently filming with my Sigma 30 millimeter lens and I do have the Canon T7i. I am planning to upgrade here very soon, but this has been making my videos and I have loved it. I have only purchased the Canon Rebel series. I have not had any other cam- oh, actually, maybe a Sony one time. But prior to the Canon T7i, I had the Canon T3i. And let me tell you, that was definitely quite the upgrade, but the Canon T3i lasted me for the longest time. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Nifty 50 camera lens onto my camera right now. So, give me a minute. This is how my Nifty 50 looks like on camera. You guys can see. Also, I did change up the setting because previously when I just applied it, with every lens, you're going to have to change up your camera settings. I'll, I, I can make a separate video on the settings that you should use with each camera lens because all of them are going to be different. Some let more light in than others. The previous one, I had it at this setting right here. You guys can see how dark it looks right now. So I have to turn up my camera settings like so. I love how this looks because it looks more true to color. If I turn it up a little bit more to make things brighter, it just washes out my makeup. Don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it down. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and just apply some makeup right here. I do have a monitor to the left side of my screen. It's probably your guys' right, but it's my left. And I am looking straight into the camera and I can see that I am centered in the frame. I want to kind of stick to that and okay so I just go ahead and begin you know applying my makeup okay so once I have done that I'm gonna go ahead and move over to playing around with some eyeshadows I'm gonna play music for the rest of this video right here just so that you guys kind of see how I look in frame and then I'll show you guys how I'm gonna edit this video
Okay, I just finished up my eye makeup. Now we're going to go ahead and move along to showing you guys how I'm going to put this video together for my Instagram and to show you how I'm going to get that close-up, that perfect close-up without moving out of frame or anything like that. So let's go ahead and jump into a tutorial on how I edit in my Final Cut Pro. I'm going to start off by creating a new event. I still don't know a lot of things about playing around with Final Cut Pro, but this has been working for me. I'm going to name this video here... Um, Lush Life Eye Tutorial for Instagram. The first thing I'm going to do is go over here to video and you can see that these are the options that you have for the video sizing. But I'm going to hit custom because I want to customize this to my liking. I do like the square shape for my eye makeup looks. So I'm going to do 1080 by 1080 and I'm going to click OK. And you can see that right over here it created a new file. I'm going to be dragging my videos over to this file on Final Cut Pro. So uh, let me see here. I think it starts here. So I'm going to take these videos, drag them right over. I'm also going to go back and then take all of these videos. I think it stops right here for the eye makeup portion. So drag those in there. Again, let me go back over here. I think it's... Is it this video? I think it might be this video. Let me put that in there. Okay, now that we have all of the eyeshadow files, I'm going to select all of these and just drag them into my timeline. You could have done this in the beginning, but I like to do it all together. And I'm going to, you guys can see that it has the little circles right here. This means that you can resize the video. So I'm going to stretch this out like this. Okay, and I'm also going to, since all of these clips right here are all selected, I'm going to take the volume all the way down because I did do a full tutorial. It's probably two videos before this one or one video. You can see the full tutorial here on my channel. I'll have it linked up above so you guys can check it out. So now that we have turned the volume all the way down and stretched out the video to fit the square shape, I'm going to begin by trimming out what I don't want to show in the video. Okay, so I'm going to, I kind of do want to keep this front part, so I'm going to click Command B and trim out this part. So Command B just kind of cuts the video wherever you have it selected, and you see that the frame right over here is yellow. If I hit Command X, it's going to remove it. So now we're back here, and I'm going to open up the palette. I'm going to hit Command B, and then I'm going to, since this is highlighted yellow, I'm going to click Command X to take this part out. Now here's my face. So I don't want all of this because I'm talking in the video. Obviously, I don't want that to be showing. Okay, I'm doing a lot of talking here, girlfriend. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show this color because that's where I'm going to start off. So this is highlighted yellow. Again, I'm going to hit Command X. And we don't need any of this because I'm just talking here and this it's irrelevant to what I'm going to be showing on Instagram. So I'm going to Command X and it's going to remove all of those clips. So now let's take a look from the beginning. This is what's showing. That's what I want to show. So we're going to stop here because we're showing the brown eyeshadow. And I'm going to take all of this out because I want to show basically how pretty it looks so I'm not going to show everything because that'll be a whole 20 minute video girl. <laughs> I'm going to command X and I'm going to just show how I'm applying the eyeshadow but I kind of want to like see. I want to show right here how I'm rounding off the color to my eye. I'm going to cut where the eyeshadow brush is like getting removed because, again, I like to keep things short. I'm going to take this out. Let me see if I like that. I'm going to cut this shorter because I feel like it's too long. Again, I like to keep my videos very short because people just want to see things very quick. Quick little pause. Thank you so much for continuing to watch this video. I hope you guys are finding it helpful. Be sure to give my video a thumbs up to let me know that you guys are finding this video helpful so that I can continue to create more content like this. And we're going to come in and zoom into my eye a little bit more, but I just want to get 
the clips showing where I want. I'm going to Command B here and cut the rest out. Command B. See, girl, I don't want to be showing the struggle. You know, that's why people need to come to my channel and see how I create the looks because I'm just showing the best parts on Instagram. That's what Instagram is. Like you're not going to see you're not going to see my thoughts in regards to the palette through a pretty video on Instagram. So you have to you have to watch my videos, girl. That's how it goes. So let's begin with the fun part of the editing process. Let me zoom in. To zoom in or zoom out, like what you guys are seeing here, I'm doing command and the plus sign to get really in there. All right, so this eye look right here, you guys can still kind of see that. I can move this around anywhere, but I'm going to stretch it out to look close to the eye. And I'm going to center this right here. Okay. So that is how I'm getting these eye close-ups. I'm going to keep that. And I'm also going to stretch this out. I'm going to stretch it out so that the eye is centered like so. I could have gone closer to my camera, but... Uh, girl, I haven't filmed these kind of videos in quite a minute. So again, I'm going to stretch it out. And center it like that. Center it like that. Move over. Come in here. Center this one. Like that. <laughs> this isn't even focused right here. Girl. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. If you guys did not watch Hannah Montana growing up, we cannot be friends. <laughs> I'm just going along editing, as you guys can see here. And this one here. Let me just apply the little eyelashes. Shop these on my website. Okay. Command B. I do like this. I just want to kind of like center it a little bit. Oh shit, I look all twacked out. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Now let's finalize this video. I'm going to Command B and cut the rest of this music out. I'm going to take this out. Let's go ahead and start at the beginning right here. So the next thing I want to do, I'm going to highlight the frame right there. Let me zoom in. You guys can see that it's highlighted in yellow. I'm going to go over to this right here. This is where you're going to find your titles and font and stuff. I'm going to go over to Basic Title. Let's begin at the beginning. Let's drag this to the very beginning. Right there. Double click on it. And right over here, you can see that there's text. I'm going to put my watermark because you want to make sure you always have your watermark just in case somebody reposts you and does not give you credit. So you guys can see Tracy does makeup. I am going to size this down. And I'm going to move it down here. I think that's a little bit too big. 
So let me just, okay, that's perfect. Okay, let me go ahead and zoom out and I'm gonna stretch this part all the way out here to the very end. You wanna make sure it doesn't go over where your video actually ends. So let me bring that over and this music is also kind of going out a little bit long. So yeah, this is exactly how you guys will be seeing my video on Instagram and that that's also how I get my eye close-ups. All you have to do is zoom into your videos and adjust it to your liking. I always have everything very centered and I like to keep my videos very short and simple. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys found that video helpful. I wanted to show you guys what it's like to go behind the scenes and the work that goes into creating content. It's just a learning. You have to search and you know, it starts here. You guys are willing to learn. That's why you clicked on today's video. And don't stress yourself out with being perfect all the time because trust me, it doesn't really go away. <laughs> That feeling doesn't really go away, but the fact that you want to continue to improve and just are searching for ways to improve, that shows a lot about how passionate you are about what you are doing. So don't give up. Everything comes with time. I didn't learn all of this all in one day. If you guys have any further questions, let me know down below in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And hopefully I do see you guys here next week for another Savvy Sunday. Have you shopped with me yet? Go ahead and take a look. I have so many eyelashes, different styles to complement any occasion. I also sell eyelash glue. I have press on nail sets that I hand paint with love myself. I sell press on nail kits, which you can do your own DIY nails, or maybe you wanna sell your own press on nails. I have so much to offer on my website, so go ahead and visit www.sonadoraofficial.com.